Okay, let's go. Hey guys, this video is about a shortcut. We're doing a pixie cut using the Rapid Junior paper strips and also the Pump It Up Spray Salon Pro Glue and also the Tinkle Blade. So I'm prepping my client right here for her shortcut. And what you guys wanna do, you guys want to mold the client's hair down so that it will have a very flat surface. I put dots of glue around her perimeter so the paper will stay. Of course, you don't want your client's um, install sliding the same day or the next day or less than a week. So um, what you wanna do is just make sure if she has long hair to braid it down. It's other ways that you can tack down um, your client's hair, but this is the style that I choose to, you know, mold my client's hair. The hair we're gonna use is Janet Collection. I use two packs of Janet Collection in all my pixie cuts. Some pixie cuts, I use other brands like Otre, the Tara brand, that's more longer and thicker. But for this pixie cut, I'm using the Janet Collection and I love it. I use the stocking cap to put over her um, paper molding on top of her head because you guys are gonna need that stocking cap because the way I put down tracks is not ordinary. Um, some of the South Florida styluses, we use this technique and I'm not sure if other styluses in other states does, but um, for what I know, the styluses in South Florida, this is what we do. We protect our client's hair and by all means, the glue will not touch her hair. I I've been doing this technique for like over 15, 20 years and none of my clients came back and said they had any issues removing the install. I have a lot of girls on YouTube that look at my videos and they make a lot of insulting comments insinuating that I cause alopecia to my clients. That's incorrect. If you're a stylist, you know. If you're not a stylist, you don't know. If you ever tried this method, you know. If you ever, if you ever never tried this method, you don't know. Well, let's get back to the video. Um, this pixie cut that I'm doing right now, I'm using a tinkle blade, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, to cut down my client's hair. I've been using tinkle for all of my shortcuts and I'm also working on a blade to sell my, my um, followers that ask me what other blade can they use outside of the tinkle blade. So I'm working with something as of right now. But the best way to, to get the layers in the front is to gather the hair the way that you see that I'm gathering the hair right here in the video and cut it exactly as such. It's perfect that way. You can use the blade. I like to use the scissors in the front, but around the eyebrow area, I do use the blade just to shave it down a little bit if my client don't like the hair in their face. And that's just about the video to sum it all up. Most of the girls in South Florida, they get this technique that I'm showing you guys and they love it. It's an easy fix for a low maintenance style. If you just want to give your hair a protective um, hairstyle, you don't really want to do nothing to it. I'll choose the pixie cut, but make sure you choose your stylist wisely. Until next time, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe and also don't forget to leave a comment with purple heart so that this video can find somebody else that's looking at videos that's similar.